Okay. So what you're looking at right now is a new Steam alternative, a major game distribution platform. Um, this is the closed beta. This just came out a day ago. I'm going to go ahead and play through a game, but before I do that, I just want to show you, you know, kind of what this looks like right now. Um, the whole point of this channel is going to be essentially explaining and going, kind of documenting the journey of the development of this um, game distribution platform. Um, I've been following the development of this for a long time. Very, very excited about it. And now we get to finally play some games. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that without getting into too much detail about what's going on here. Um, so I go to my library. This one is the one that I'm most interested in, so I'm going to go ahead and play it. And it opens right up. Hopefully nothing up. Oh, there we go. Bass pretty loud. Well, I can't move my mouse. That was really loud for me. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me good. I've never actually done anything like this before. <clears throat> okay. All right, my controller works. Okay. All I know about this is that it's a first-person shooter, basically. That's literally it. Looks pretty cool, though. Um, this was, like, the number one indie game of the year or something for 2021, maybe, on some... some Somewhere it was number one for something, so it must be good, right? Uh, hmm. I always check the options first. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. people panic strange voices cousin Lewis cousin Lewis request for help could not remain unanswered you set off your home oh wow I, I love the 2d like that wow. to the town of Estesville. You got there soon enough. You noticed that the locals were quick to leave this place. You felt observed. observed. This is where you were supposed to meet your cousin. However, the room was empty. While searching for information on your cousin's whereabouts, you heard a strange sound of footsteps in the corridor. After a while, there was a knock on the door. Hmm. Oh, that's nice.
Dubious cases need firm methods. It's amazing what you can do with this graphic style. I mean, wow. This is really something else. I've never played anything like this. This reminds me of Borderlands. Dormants? Who are they? Fallen Aces? Ah ha ha! Nice! Okay. Who the hell were they? They didn't look like normal thugs. a great story, but it's not my thing. Yeah, I genuinely wonder why... We don't see more of this kind of kind of stuff. Like seems pretty easy to make. And super cool. Probably pretty boring with the knife. <clears throat> okay. I can blow those up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool to see games like this on Ultra. It really shows how well attuned um, the team is to gaming. I hope that eventually I can get to a point where I can kind of better explain everything that there is to it and why I think it's going to take over the gaming industry once it's fully rolled out. But this is just kind of my reaction to their, um, oh shit. After what I saw here, I'll need a little backup. Can I s oh, Okay, good. Alright. Shit. Okay.
see, this is like a simple design taken to a crazy level, you know? Environment's pretty much the same. Easy way out. Okay. I think he sniffed something out. Are you serious? Where the hell am I? Am I tripping? Am I having a breakthrough? From DMT to MDMA. We got all that shit and so till dawn, we're okay, but anyway... Oh, that's it? I had to get poisoned. In this kind of place, it's quite easy. Out of ammo. I'm still in the tutorial. Um, you must press and hold down the gamepad left for the Okay. Oh, it's like. Really? What is this? Alien isolation? Oh my god. Do I have. Of course I don't. Oh my god, no no no. no. to conserve my ammo. Who the hell were they? They didn't look like normal they thugs. They didn't look like normal thugs. So, once I get used to this, I'm going to try to explain a little bit about Ultra, but god damn. You know, another thing that's not even necessarily a component of why I think it's 
worth paying attention to is the fact that, you know, nowadays curation is more important than anything else. Like, you can go on Steam and you can see every goddamn game to ever exist on there, and how are you ever going to find what you think is good? You know, curation is a lot more valuable than content creation. That's the truth. So it's like, you got millions of people making videos, probably about this game alone. I'm here to try to curate and try to show you, okay, well, I'm only talking about this. I mean, honestly, I'm only talking about this because it's on Ultra. Um, not to say this is a bad game, but that's kind of part of the whole idea of Ultra is that it expo it, the idea is that you'll be exposed to more indie lower tier pub or not lower tier but lesser known publishers where am I going where am I going but yeah like you know you're gonna I mean having multiple um sort of third-party game distribution platforms is not necessarily a bad thing. And I think that's what people don't realize yet about the future is like, like for example, you know, you have, like let's say Twitter for example, right? You follow specific people for specific content. Those people are curating all of Twitter for you. Need to have a blue key. All right, maybe now I'll use this. I need help. Do I, I feel like I have no health? Wait, After one, what I saw here, okay. I'll need a little backup. Alright, those guys die in two hits. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna skip around a lot in this video. I'm not good at doing commentary yet. But playing this is making me realize the importance of curation. Like, like, especially, you know, since, you know, I'm, I mean, being an adult, having a job, you know, how am I supposed to be able to pay attention to every game that comes out and decide for myself what's good and what's bad? It's hard. I don't blame people for wanting you know, for, 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 for not knowing, and, 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 and it really kind of is very unfortunate because you have so many games that could be your favorite game, and you ne will never know about them because that's just how much content is being produced nowadays, right? It's, it's, it's very tricky to know. I had to get poisoned, <laughs> and this kind of place, it's Quite okay. easy. Wow, really? Did a lot of damage. Oh shit. 
What the fuck? But yeah, and so... Okay. So, regardless of what you think about Web 3, Web 3 and Web 2 are going to merge into a sort of evolution of gaming in general, and it's not going to look any different from the way that we perceive online multiplayer now. You know, you had online multiplayer back in the early 2000s, which was a kind of separated thing at first and and you know you had games that had it games that didn't have it and it was a big selling point for games that did have it and that's kind of where we're at now but with ultra what you're going to see is you're going to see all of these games that don't necessarily have in-game asset integration with the blockchain the ultra blockchain but you'll see a lot of games just being sold as tokens, as NFTs. <gasps> that word, NFT, it's such a loaded word now. Um, but essentially, it's just a token, like a Bitcoin is a token, and because it's a token, it can be transferred from wallet to wallet, and it's cryptographically owned by, e by the wallet that currently has it, and um, there's a lot more technical details that need to be explained, and I'm not going to explain them right now, but basically I'm just here to show you what is happening. And eventually there's going to be somebody out there better than me who's going to be able to explain this and show it to you in a more entertaining way. Right now... I'm just kind of enjoying what's available to me, and hopefully you do too. Um, okay, so that was the tutorial, I guess. Pretty good. Pretty good game. Very, very, very surprised, actually. Um, I love these kind of artsy, avant-garde sort of games. It really is something that... It just makes me appreciate the fact that you know, you might have in the future, like even with Ultra, like Ultra has like, like, so the, the, the co-CEOs of, of this company have been saying for years now, they've always kind of hammered down the point that you'll be able to create your own marketplace. There'll be multiple marketplaces. There'll be many different marketplaces. It won't just be Ultra. And I understand what they mean now because you have like Steam, right? And like Steam is just Steam and that's it. And like if you want to buy a game, you go to Steam. But what that kind of does is it kind of limits your ability to discover games. Like, okay, so you go to Steam, Steam shows you stuff and maybe you find some game that you are interested in on the internet, somebody you like on YouTube plays it or something. But Imagine if there were people that could kind of create their own versions of Steam, almost like the way Mastodon works, right? Like with Twitter and, 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 and you know, you have your own sort of copy and paste of Steam that is curated to a certain culture or a certain demographic or a certain... Well, not Democrat, but like, you know, a certain group, a certain, um, like, genre or a certain, um, you know, like I can make my own, you know, it could be like the Roy Re marketplace and, you know, you go there and you see games that I think are good. And I mean, I know Steam has something similar to that, but to actually have like your own distinct marketplace based on a certain, I guess, like culture or, or, or era or genre and have everything from the ground up themed around that and have it easy, very easy and very simple for someone to set these things up. 
There's already one out, Ultra's Life. You go to Ultra's Life, you have your own little marketplace. You can access the unique marketplace, which is essentially the NFT marketplace that Ultra uses. Um, and eventually it's going to have its own kind of subset of Ultra games, I'm sure. And, um, you know... It's not something that's easy to explain off the cuff, but I will make lots of videos in the future explaining this stuff. There's a whole lot to break down when it comes to Ultra. Um, but yeah, just being able to play this is already like, goddamn. You know, 